Everyone in this arena has a money stake in one of our famous couples as we play the game of celebrity gossip, Tattletales. And here's the star of Tattletales, Kurt Conby. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Title Tales. Thank you for tuning in. It's nice to have you with us today. Nice to have all of you with us, too. We have three couples raring to go to win money for you. You're going to root for them? Huh? You ready? Yeah. Here they come, then. On my left, winning money for the blue section today, Mr. Ken Berry and his wife. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> I hope we're winning money today. We haven't won all week, you know. Oh, that, really? Well, yeah, you yeah, might now. Blue. Hope yes. so. <laughs> What's that? I hope so. What was that there? <laughs> Whoa, ho. Yeah. Tonight's, oh boy, they're raring to go in the blue section yes. today. I hope the yellow section is ready because you got a wonderful couple too. Mr. Jack Albertson and his All wife, right. Wally. Oh, okay. Are you sure you're not a good humor man? <laughs> Does this look like a good. Really? You don't like this, Jack? Is I it... love it. Oh, I don't think it's. Uh, where'd you have that suit made? I just got it off a rack in a sale someplace. Yeah, where were you at the time? Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> We've worked together before, yes, haven't we? Yeah. What the heck? Wally, how are you today, dear? I'm fine, Bert. Just are you? fine. Yes. You ready to go too? Yeah, I hope you did better than you do better than yesterday. Oh, you're gonna do fine. Everybody's right. gonna do fine today, I promise you. But then I don't have to answer the questions. <laughs> Winning money today I for the for red that. section, and he is in red appropriately enough. Yes. Mr. Donald Ross and his wife, Patty Doe. <laughs> Could I have a vanilla sundae and uh, a Never chocolate? mind. It's he not said. my station. <laughs> he says, sitting there with his, with his maroon sweater and his striped tie. I'm dressed for a pity? Dick Powell Film Festival. Is that what it is? Okay. Collegiate, collegiate. Well, get, uh, get dressed for Tattletales okay. because here comes the first question worth $150. Ladies, it is addressed to you. You and your husband check into a hotel for the weekend. Uh-huh. The walls are very thin. Uh-huh. And all night long, you're aware of every sound being made by the active honeymoon couple next door. <laughs> Would you ask to have your room changed? Let me repeat it for you. You and your husband check into a hotel for the weekend. The walls are very thin, and all night long, you're aware of every sound being made by the active honeymoon couple next door. Would you ask to have your room changed? You mean changed to their room? Take, take a <laughs> Uh, ladies, would you like to go away now and think about that? I one? think and, so. Uh, we'll come back for your answers in just a moment. Ken, what's Jackie going to say? Um, what, Jackie's a light sleeper, but uh, she's also uh, very romantic. You know, and if she, if she knew that the the couple was on their honeymoon, yes, uh, she would not ask to have the room, room changed. changed. Uh huh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody in the bl blue sex is going, yeah, yeah, okay. You'll say no, she would not ask that. Yeah, it'll probably change. be another wrong one, but I'll say no. <laughs> Let's bring on Jackie and find out. Jackie, what would you do? There you are, you're in the yeah. hotel room, the walls are very thin. Um, would you ask to have your room changed if you heard that honeymoon couple next door? No. That's what he said, you're right. that young people are active nowadays. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what did she say? <laughs> oh, okay, you have a share of the pod, Jackie. Very well Thanks. done. Jack, what's Wally going to say? Well, I don't know, but I'm reminded of the story about the elderly couple who were checking into the hotel. Yes. And the clerk said, uh, all we have left is the ballroom. And the, and the gentleman said, we've been married for 50 years. And the clerk said, well, you can rent a ballroom, but you don't have to dance. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, I think I think we'd probably ask the bellboy to bring up a couple of glasses we could put up against the wall. Yes. The <laughs> I say we'd stay in the room. Okay, you say she'll say she'd stay. Let's bring her on and find out. Wally, what are you gonna do? You're in that room now, and it's uh, you're gonna be there for the weekend. The walls are very thin. Honeymoon couple next door. Are you gonna ask to change your room or not? Sounds like it'd beat the Late Show on television. I'd say no. That's what Jack <laughs> said. You're right. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Wally. You have a share of the pot as well. Donald, what's Patty going to say? I don't know what Patty's going to say, but um, I mean, I would want to stay. Yeah. I mean, uh, you know, how are you going to learn anything if you don't listen? 
True. And I think she feels the same way about it. Yes. She would not ask to have her Yeah, room I'm for thin walls. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Let's bring, yeah. Let's bring on Patty. Patty, what are you going to do? There you are in the hotel for the weekend. Very thin walls. Honeymoon mm -hmm. couple next door. You going to ask for your room to be changed or no? No. That's what the man said. You're right, Danny. You're all right. Can we split the pot three ways? And there it is. And then we'll come back and find out how we're going to split all the rest of the pot on title 10. Glad to this message for you.